guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video it really gets my videos out there and i also want to thank you guys so 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 much for having me hit 1000 subscribers it means the world to me that people actually want to watch my channel and i'm going to make more of a conscious effort to actually put out videos every single week every saturday at 6 p.m so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I just thank you guys so much for sticking with me and being patient with me as always. I always say that in all my videos, but I really just wanna let you guys know how grateful I am that there's people who like to hear me and see my perspective of life and just, you know, come on this little journey with me, you know? But you know, the topic of this video today is why it's okay to take a break from school. If you're a person who's on the fence about taking a year off or, um, you know, taking a semester off, you know, you really wanna dive deep into other things that you're truly passionate about. I'm just gonna explain in this video why I decided to take a year off and why I had to take a year off, to be honest. If you are interested, please stay tuned. So without further ado, let's get into this video. My first year of college, I started college in August of 2018. So this August will make two years since I started college. The major I wanted to get into, like I still want to do that major now and I'm going to get um, into it more once this video progresses. But the major I wanted to get into was a really, you know, interesting major for me. And I, um, and I love the classes that I was able to take within that major. So even though like I still had um, different courses that I had to take that weren't a part of my major, I still enjoyed the courses that fell more into my major. If that makes any sense, I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I'm rambling. When I actually did start college, I noticed that um, things were different than high school as always. Like, of course, like that's what you should expect going to college. And I did expect that, but I feel like it kind of hit me full force by the time I reached like October. And by the time October came around, I realized I wasn't really making any friends. You know what I mean? I didn't really have people around me. I didn't really have anyone to study with. I didn't really have people around me to like have my back other than my family and like some of the friends I already had from high school and stuff. So it was really hard for me. <laughs> I remember one time I came home. It, it was in October. Of 2018 and I remember I came home and I was crying because you know I didn't make any friends and you know this is so lonely you know I was just feeling really sad and down and I feel like a part of that kind of played into the reason why I decided to take a year off um, for the 2019 to 2020 semester it just felt really lonely I didn't really have any motivation to continue doing my work or continue going to classes or you know, continue pursuing that major. I really just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling anybody. Um, I wouldn't say that I was depressed. I'm not sure if that is the case because I never got diagnosed for it or anything like that. But I know I was really, I was going through a really tough time during that year and it was just a lot for me. I will also admit that I was also going through like, you know, personal like anxiety I feel like for me, I never struggled with like social anxiety and stuff, but I have struggled with being more closed off and shy um, just due to like childhood experiences and stuff like that. So that kind of played into the reason why I had, you know, so much anxiety when it came to like meeting new people and stuff like that. Because naturally, like when I, um, put those you know emotional traumas or like childhood experiences away i'm a person who loves people like i like meeting new people i like you know presenting myself to other people i like getting to know others experiencing a new environment kind of made it hard for me to you know put myself out there and get to know other people and you know actually grow close with them like we would always have like small talk and you would like talk in class and whatnot but I was never able to branch out with anybody and get their numbers and Instagrams and Facebooks or whatever. And you know, start chatting and actually building a relationship. That's always been a problem for me. Like I've never been able to build a true relationship with somebody, you know, um, unless it was organically or if it just like, you know, just happened. Like I never put effort into doing that. And I feel like that's also another reason why 
you know, I wasn't successful this time in, you know, my first year of college, which is the reason why I decided to take that year off. That's just a little bit of my experience. Um, my grades were slacking, you know, um, I wasn't really attending all of my classes like I should have. And that really, you know, played a detrimental role in like, you know, my studies and that kind of thing. And it's okay. It's okay to admit that you are the reason why you couldn't go back to college or why you didn't continue your education it's okay to admit that because you're not the only person for so long i was thinking that i was the only person that this happens to and whatever like oh why me this and the fourth but sometimes you got to put that aside and realize that it's you and you have to address those and really be able to be true to yourself and understand that you know you can deal with this once you admit that it's your fault and that it was you then you can deal with that problem and i'm gonna show you what you can do now that you're like out of school or if you're planning on taking that year off or that semester off or a couple of weeks off for whatever reasons um necessary one thing i suggest you to do or one thing that you can do that makes sense to do <laughs> is you use this time to achieve goals that would be impossible to do if you were in school um, so school college you know that takes up a lot of your time you're taking between like four to six classes unless you're trying to like overload on credits you're probably taking eight courses mm, with a mix of like online and in class or like whatever the case may be you're taking a lot of classes it takes up a lot of your time you don't really have time to focus on things that you really want to pursue in life that's not just you know going to college and getting a job and you know that kind of thing so you can really use this time to focus on and hone in on those things that you want to grow and like it could be anything like a lot of people have side hustles like doing hair like you can focus on you know growing your clientele if that's also something that you want to pursue if not a regular nine to five job you can also just have a goal of like moving out like if that's you know in your favor if that's something that you want to do you could focus on putting money aside and um you know saving towards moving out get that security deposit down save that put that aside um you can even go as far as to taking like a second job or you know taking a full-time job where you can save and you can work so then when you go back to school next year if you do choose to um you have that money aside you know to deal with that deal with your expenses another thing that i kind of like already touched on like one thing that you really need to do during this time is save your money save your money during this time you have so much time on your hands why not put that money aside you're not really doing much and if you do have to spend money it should be investing in yourself it shouldn't just be you know willy-nilly purchases like oh i want a new cell phone let me get that and you know you have like 200 dollars in your bank account it doesn't make sense so i personally had trouble with saving in the past and it was really hard for me to you know put that money aside and be like you know what i need to this is more important than getting this this is more important than getting that let me put that money aside one app that i do use to save is digit i'm going to leave a link down below um using that app really helped me to save um actually you're very loud <laughs> i use this app called digit and it has helped me tremendously in saving money this is not a sponsored post i only have a thousand subscribers so i'm not yet sponsored i will be in the future hopefully but yeah i use this app called digit and using this app really helped me to save because what it does is it connects to your bank account if you have one it will connect to your bank account and every single day it takes out some cents it depends on what you um set it as but it takes out some cents to about a dollar or two a day um and it puts it towards like a rainy day fund you can even add um whatever kind of funds that you want to save up for like say you want to save for a new laptop um you can set it so that um the app will take out money from your bank account towards that fund you can save towards an emergency fund you can save towards paying off your debt like anything you can do with this app and i really suggest you to get this app if you're having so much trouble saving and 
yeah it'll really help you i promise you you can just leave it alone you can even delete the app if you want to and it'll still save your money you can delete it or like you could put it in a different file where you don't touch it and you can come back in like two months and you don't even notice the money gone. Like once you go in there, you're gonna see how much money you save. You'll be like, oh snap, I got $50 saved in here. Oh, I got um $125 saved here. Like, you know, you don't notice it and it's just so easy to save with this app. Like I suggest you to get it. I'll leave a link down below where you can get it. If you do click on my link, um, you do get a $5 um for joining i believe it is yeah i think you get five dollars for joining so um if you click on my link you get five dollars towards your rainy day fund number three this is gonna be like my last one and i feel like this is more obvious um get a side hustle if you have something that you like to do on the side like doing hair sewing knitting music just something youtube even like what i'm doing um, selling your clothes, selling um, reworked clothes. Those kind of things are side hustles that can really make you some money during this time where you're trying to like get your life together. You can even just get a second job. It doesn't even have to be anything super duper duper creative. You can get a second job. You could even get an internship if you still want that experience. If you're planning on going back to college, you can use this time to get that experience. So you can put that on your resume and then, you know, it just goes on from there. But I really do suggest getting a side hustle. Side hustles really help you decide what you really want to do with your life. So if you um, are in college or if you're planning on taking a year off and you're like, oh my gosh, like what am I going to do during this time? Like I don't want to be broke. I don't want to, you know, be at home. I don't want to be a bum. Think about something that you're good at. Like if you like doing hair, you can turn that into a side hustle if you want to. But one thing I will say just because you're good at something doesn't mean you have to monetize it. There's a lot of things that I'm good at and I don't want to sound like cocky or whatever, like obviously not, but there's a lot of things that I'm good at and just because I'm good at those things doesn't mean I have to sell that or monetize that. But if you do want to monetize those hobbies or monetize those skills and talents that you have, you can do that. And for a lot of people, it can make you a lot of money like um, doing hair, having clients, setting up a little website or Instagram page to really put your um, business out there. Something as simple as selling um, your old clothes on Depop. You can just do a quick declutter of all your things that you're not wearing, shoes, hats, scarves, um, shirts, sweaters. Um, you can even do that as well. I also have a Depop. It's gonna be linked down below. Self promo, I'm not ashamed of it, but um, you can create a Depop page. It's really easy. You can just take pictures of all your clothes. You can be wearing it or like, have it on a um, flat surface and whatnot. Like You can do that. Sell all your clothes, whatever clothes that you want to sell. You can put it on Depop. You can sell more than clothes on there. But like I suggest you to get the app so you can like see for yourself what you can do with it. That can also make you a lot of money. A lot of people built an empire off of Depop just by selling re reworked <laughs> reworked um objects reworked um pieces of clothing thrifted clothing that you won't find anywhere else a lot of people are looking for you know genuine and you know vintage items or you know um just unique items on that app so if you have something or have some things like clothes and stuff that you're really trying to sell you can do that through depop and with youtube youtube is more of a tricky one because like right now, I'm filming a YouTube video, but I'm not making any money off of it. You have to reach a certain amount of, um, you have to reach a certain amount of watch time in minutes and a certain amount of subscribers, first off, um, in order to be monetized on YouTube. And that could take people from a month, I've seen it, from a month to like a year to even like become monetized on YouTube. So that's really tricky. You have to really like, you know talking to people and helping people and wanting to put yourself out there in order to make you know youtube work for you but that is also something that you can do in order to you know have that side hustle at the end of the day it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter what reason you have for wanting to take a year off or semester off as long as you know that it's making you happy and you feel good about your decision and you know that your decision is the best for you then, you know, go on and do it. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you have to take that break to realize what you really want to do in your life. And 
really focus on what you want to do that's all i want to say in this little video i hope i was able to help you even a little bit because i'm still on my year off so i don't really know too much and i'm still trying to figure myself out so i can't give you too much advice but these are just things that i'm gonna try and implement in my own life and i just hope you guys enjoyed this video again make sure that you like this video if you liked it comment down below any videos that you want to see from me my instagrams and my all my social medias will be on the screen and in the description box below and i'll see you guys next saturday bye